you to taste that last time I popped it. Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. You, hmm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the slick bastard away from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing, nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis. Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. You know? So, You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. No. So I need to know. What did you tell them? And what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I. Hey! This whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Go. All right. Fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. No, you get to work, and uh, I'm not here. The guy's your neighbor, Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. Bye. Can we proceed? Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is Oops. he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working... Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent ten years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or... Or... We stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers, I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. If the money ran out, how did you pay for new cheekbones? My cheekbones are an investment 
wrong house. This guy is an our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? <laughs> Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait, what are you talking about, the wrong guy? No, who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Ah, uh, please, look at me, please. Yes. Now, if you open real wide, I might be able to just reach right back there and grab one of those big ones. Not the flyers! Get in there. Wiggle, 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 Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. What didn't you ask me? I know it's here. I did his home theater. He lives in Jumash. The ride on the Western Highway. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? Did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Jumash, the Western Highway. Great. Jumash, you're driving. Remember, fucking lazy bastard. Terror does not take coffee breaks. Yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up. What a dick. <laughs> oh, fuck this guy's car. Oh, I'm sorry about that. So you're gonna drive into me? <laughs> so how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Shit! Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad, who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Townley. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. No, no, please. I tell what? you what Loosen you him up. No, no, please. Let's see. Ooh, gas. The nation demands it. Come on. Take another tooth. Please. Don't do it. <laughs> it's going to happen, buddy. Please. My heart. I think he's getting a stiffy. Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I'm ready to talk. I got to give him the second picture. That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy we're after. What does he look like? I was built. I was high. Middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? 
We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? <laughs> they look eastern. Half this town looks eastern, Davy. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. Ah! Oh, Sorry, too no. late. Trevor, show our contestant what he's oh, won today. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. Woo! All right, we're going for the gas. If my mama had waterboarded me more often, I wouldn't be the gun-toting psychopath you see before you now. It's a torture. It is torture. Oh, my mouth. I, I was drowned! I got blood in my... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Always by the book. That's my vibe. He's had enough. Help me pick this up. Let me up. Let me up. The government knows what's best for you. Then the government should kill me. So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 you know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our informants no. and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. Get out the scope. We need eyes in the room. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific or is some stubble going to cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. Oh, he, he, he's got beard. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to be sure. No, please, no. Uh -huh. I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. All right. Where you want it? Nowhere. <laughs> Come on. Boobreaker. Oh, motherfucker. Well, that's what happens when you put the body through the ringer. Wakey, wakey! How long was I out? <laughs> Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. <laughs> okay. He chain smokes. <laughs> And he's left-handed. What's that? He changed smokes. And he's left-handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes Redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. What the hell? That was the guy. I had a feeling. It'll check out. Well, <laughs> we've got him. It's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. 
Now I got a rabbit hole game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <coughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's the sport. <coughs> Let's go, come on. Wait a second, Mr. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. What? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. No. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now you gotta play to catch. Okay? Get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Another drive, another drive. Another hey, drive. how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 no. You have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do! They're in the morning wood. I love them very much! No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home! I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message! You're a torture advocate! Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything! Exactly! Torture's for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times! We should all admit that! It's useless as a means of getting information! I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. It's me, 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 me with you. Jesus Christ, good grief. I thought we really bonded, but now I'm having my doubts. <laughs> Departures. No one drives me to the airport. God damn it. Go all the way. Here we be. Run! You're free! Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? Now look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. Where's it going? Stop me now, what the fuck is that?